Hi, this is Kevin Lee. Um, in this presentation, I will explain how to work with MQ sources. So, Power Exchange for MQ is the application that we will use for this. And agenda for the video: how to filter messages and how to control Q cleanup. Informatica provides Power Exchange for MQ and documentations, yet we don't really provide any examples. So many people are having hard time when creating and configuring a mapping for MQ sources, and then when you when creating a mapping that meets their business requirements. So in this presentation, I will show you how to create a simple mapping that consumes certain messages messages in a source queue using filter condition and then remove those messages from the queue. Built-in functions for MQ source. So these are the functions that Informatica provides. Um, you can use them uh, to filter messages from the source queue. So let me give you some use cases. So first thing, uh, receive the latest messages. So you can use concat um, function, which will concatenate two strings into a single string. So you can uh, uh, concatenate put date and put time. Those are the header fields. Uh, if it's greater than max date time, which is parameter that you can have for the mapping, which is bigger than that, uh, basically then you can just um, filter and receive only the latest messages. You can do that, or um, you can control the uh, the behavior of the session. Um, you can set the duration uh, for the session to run. So, for example, if you use either ten, so you can control the duration of the time. The intelligence service re uh, remains idle before it stops reading from the queue. So after 10 seconds, if it, it doesn't, uh, if intelligence service doesn't see any message in the source queue, it will stop the session. Or message count 100. So you can make it so that uh, it only receives 10, 100 messages from the source queue and then stop the session. A lot of times, uh, a lot of uh, many customers are asking questions how to set and uh, make a real time session for uh, uh, for MQ source. What you can do is either minus one, then the session runs forever, and flush latency set to one, which means basically um, you can set one second, and for every one second, integration service. Um, will commit messages read from the source queue. So after reading, uh, consuming messages, how can you delete them? You can use the destructive read option. This is an automatic function which you can set in the session level. So if you have a filter condition, then it uh, power center session only consume those messages that meet the filter condition and remove them. If you don't have any filter condition, if you leave it as blank or if, if you just uh, make it as just real time session only, then basically the session will consume all the messages in the queue. Remove message set to true. So you can use this uh, filter condition only if you are using associate source qualifier. So if you have an associate source qualifier and you have a, let's say you have a flat file format data that you are dealing with, but if you're just using destructive read option, then the message will not be removed. So if you're using associate source qualifier, you have to use this option, remove message true. Otherwise, another option you can use is update strategy transformation. Just like you use for a relational database, you can use it for MQ as well. So using DD delete, you can flag message for deletion. You can do that. Okay, now let me give you a little demo. I have a 
simple mapping that reads from MQ uh, from flat file and then just bring it to MQ. So in this mapping, I have an expression transformation and that message type set to 11 and I just bring it to the header field like this. Then I create another mapping that uh, consume the message in the queue whatever the message that I put in the queue. So message type will be set to 11. So I will only consume those messages of which message type is set to 11. So to do that, uh, in the source qualifier, go to property step, then you will see filter here. Then you can say flush latency set to one, uh, 10, which means 10 seconds, every 10 seconds will some, uh, commit um, messages, messages in the source MQ and either, either minus one which will make real time and the message type 11 so it will only consume messages of which message type is 11 then go to the workflow manager and open the session go to mapping tab and click on the source make sure the destructive read option is selected then uh, the, the message that I read will be automatically removed. And also make sure that the source space is set as uh, commit type is set to source so that you can make the sessions real time. So you can read um, destructive read option in the session level or you can just create a mapping in the mapping level you can just have a update strategy which goes back to the source MQ so the target should be same and then um, you can use dd underscore delete to delete the message that are read so you can do so in the design level mapping design level as well so in this presentation, I just wanted to show you how you can create a um, simple mapping that consumes message from the source using filter conditions. So in the filter condition, these are the functions, the, the built-in functions that you can use for, for the MQ source. That is about it for this presentation. Um, if you have any comment or question, feel free to contact us. Thank you.